Um, that's uh, Justin Park, Justin's Park at Burley. Uh, and we talk to people who wander up and see what, what was important to them in terms of transport into the future. See there, former Mayor, Councillor Lex Bell, getting quite excited about transport. Um, most of you probably have observed he's not a fan of the light rail in Surface Paradise, but uh, he, he's quite convinced that there won't be any more light rail constructed in his lifetime, but well, I've tried to convince him otherwise. Uh, so this is the sort of thing we did. We got around and uh, put these little pop-ups to, to talk to people. Lots of responses, nearly a thousand feedback items, which is really good. We also had some formal submissions, so as you'd expect in relation to transport, we had the usual suspects, RACQ, the airport, some other peak bodies. They all put forward uh, uh, some formal submissions. I see uh, Bryn Lummis's company, for those of you who know Bryn, put a submission in. 94% uh, of the respondents were local, so that was good because we, we were actually getting some local feedback. Um, now these, I, I should have actually brought some of the transport strategies along. I might drop them in for you to grab in the future. <coughs> we can see here, this is, this is an overview of the sort of uh, high level planning that's been involved. But the community consultation just in our part of the world, when I was out there in, uh, engaging was, we noticed this connection here between Paradise Point uh, and Coomera uh, or Helensvale train station uh, was a missing link. Um, now that, for those of you who've lived around here for a while, as I have, um, that was actually a fairly obvious one for us locals, but um, hadn't actually been included in the original draft strategy. So we were able to identify that as being a bit of a shortcoming. Uh, and so now we're looking at east-west, sorry, east-west connections through there. Um, because at the moment you've got to go from sort of Hope Island or Paradise Point down to, I think, Runaway Bay, change buses, head west, etc. Okay. So, again, that's the sort of thing we can, uh, we can probably uh, resolve fairly easily and the, the public consultation was very positive around that. Um, there's some data there about how important transport is for the city, not only in terms of delivery of the strategy, but the ongoing economic benefits as well. through some of these because it's all a bit dry, really. Um, lots of initiatives in there. Now, is that the new look? This is, this is Rome. We You'd look, recognise that. Smoke. Keith, you're well travelled. You want smoke? Um, the reason this slide's in here is just to remind us all that Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, the strategy is 20 years. It's a vision. It gives us a blueprint of what we want, but obviously we're not going to see it all rolled out in the next two or three years. Um, a good example, though, is that light rail as a concept was in the last transport strategy back in about 1997, and it's come to fruition sort of 15 years later. So it does take planning to put these things in place. The other thing is that if we have plans like this uh, and really good tangible strategies. We can actually pitch it to the state and federal governments because um, they will be the ones that we rely on for funding a lot of the, the initiatives in the strategy. Um, as I said, we had a cycle conference here on the Gold Coast, um, which has been very positive. So I don't know if you've seen any of the media around that, but uh, the strategy was launched at the conference uh, and we've had really good feedback. There was 200 delegates there just in relation to cycling alone. So. Um, and I found out yesterday we've got a very um, good local company that's doing some great work on road treatments for um, cycleways, bikeways, etc. A company called Brick and Pave, um, local Gold Coast company, really leading the way in what they're doing. And there's the mayor, so he's on board. So into the uh, into the future, the next 20 years, we'll uh, we'll roll out the strategy, and hopefully it's uh, a good, useful solution to improve transport on the Gold Coast. Cameron, just yes. one question while you're on transport. Have yep. you given some thought to utilising the waterways? For instance, if you take Sackby Cove, Hope Island, uh, the Gold Coast Marina, all that, yep. there's a lot of people up this end who could link up and not get on those roads. Yep. 
there's, there's no water transport contained in the strategy, but I know that they did look at it. Um, <clears throat> the, the original ideas for water transport in the city were sort of coming out of surface paradise and coming up towards Paradise Point, that, that, trend, that corridor. Um, interesting corridor going, say, from uh, the Marine Precinct, sort of east and south. Um, but the, I'm told um, that, for example, the city cats in Brisbane are just not a cost-effective method of transport. So in terms of quick hits and cost-effective hits, um, water is not the best way to go. Um, so the, the, the short-term strategy is that that's not included, but certainly something we can look at in the future. Um, you know, there are practical difficulties about the type of boats that we would need to use and, um, you know, going through. What you, you've got to have a capacity, then you've got to have speed limitation, bridges, um, you know, it, there's a lot of complexities to it because of the nature of our waterways. So it's not an easy one. It was considered, but at this stage, there's nothing on that. Any other questions? Yeah. Is, is there any timeline between hooking up until the light rail hooks up to Helensvale? Yeah. Is there any timeline on that at this stage? Because it, I mean, it is also a missing link. Yeah, it is a missing link, and that's why it's on the list of 2013 to 2016 priorities, because I think that all of us, and none of us are transport engineers, I assume, mm -hmm. um, it seems like a very common sense approach that we would connect the light rail to the passenger rail, um, and the traffic engineers actually support that as well. So they recognise it's important. As I said, there was, uh, in the Commonwealth Games bid, there was a provision for a temporary train station on the heavy rail somewhere down a little bit further, I can't remember the exact location. We're proposing this as a permanent station, um, so it would be useful for the Commonwealth Games, but also in filling that missing link. Um, okay, uh, oh. Sorry, what, uh, what plans are there for rail link to Kulangatta Airport? So the light rail is proposed to continue to the airport, okay? The reason being the consultation that we've undertaken with the airport and the research that's been done suggests that the type of people that land at the airport, for example, are trying, the majority of them are actually going up the spine straight into surface paradise. Um, there was work done on whether the heavy rail should go to the airport. Um, that's probably not as useful. Um, the, the heavy rail, I might be able to flip back to one of the slides. Um, yeah, it goes Here, we propose that the heavy rail continue from Varsity Lakes down to Eleanora. Okay. Um, again, so we looked at taking it down here. What we would end up, we get into a number of difficulties when we get close to the border because we start to actually um, spend all of our money servicing a catchment area in northern New South Wales, different train gauges, different jurisdictions. It's problematic. Um, but predominantly the reason that we want to do it this way is because of the type of traffic that's going up into Service Paradise um, and then use the heavy rail for predominantly travel to Brisbane, for example, but also within uh, the Gold Coast. So you'll see there's a number of infill stations that are proposed here. So Merrimack, um, there's the Parkwood connection there. We've already got uh, Helensvale. Um, and here we've got a proposed station at Hope Island. Okay, so... Yeah. Now that those things there are what I'm talking about in terms of what we need to ask the state for money for, okay, because heavy rail obviously is state government thing. But we as a city need to put forward a plan to say, look guys, this is what we want to do. This is where we want these stations, this is where it fits into our strategy. Did you say there was a feasibility on not having a rail link to the airport? Um, as part of this work, yes, they they covered all of those options and, and the option that they came up with was this and you'll see that um, it's got the red circle around it um, for the same reason that all of the feedback here told me about the Paradise Point East-West connection. Down here you'll see that um, the airport for example supported the light rail over the heavy rail connection. So it was a result of the work that it, yeah. the research work that had been done as well as the, the feedback. Okay. Um, is there going to be an increase in overall security?